what we're doing today is that we're looking at 90s um, art and we're working to create a piece with her. All of her pieces have a meaning behind them. I'm gonna let you guys kind of just go through and see the exhibition. About five years ago, I started wanting to do illustrations and drawings of, of Diné creation stories. Each of the images on the billboards was a site-specific painting. I asked the students to contemplate the idea of spectrums. Where have you experienced a spectrum in your own life? Think about spectrums in your own personal life. And how do I see myself in that spectrum? And you can write it out in a couple of sentences. You can write it out as a word. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some art. I asked them to create these colorful pieces. I thought about gender, honestly. We were just focusing on spectrum and colors. I really loved it. It was really cool. I like how it's collaborative. I was thinking about the different spectrums and how they're all just kind of like intertwined. And then, you know, also in the native culture are different directions. With the colors I'm using, I'm getting like a, a sunset type of feeling or maybe warmth. It's really exciting to work with living artists. As educators within the Contemporary Art Museum, living artists can work with different communities within our local region, and that extends the work of creativity out into the community instead of just on the walls of the museum. These pieces, once they are finished, will get cut up and will be used to put into a mural that will be created in the education lab. A few students wrote about spectrums as being living and being ever-changing and growing. And I thought that that was a very strong metaphor that kind of encapsulated what a lot of the students had written on. And then having these like little vignettes within that that show the complexity, the expanse of of all of these personal reflections. It gives people a way to express themselves besides words. 